I'm excited to hear there is dialogue between government and uh, civil society, especially in this otherwise new venture, Uganda is involved in. I'm happy to hear there are concerned citizens about the way we are doing things. That's very healthy. That's very healthy and it's very welcome. It's important citizens know how we, the elected officials, and they are workers in the civil service manage the affairs of the country. It's very, 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 very important. Transparency and accountability is key to development. In matters of public affairs, in that space, there should be nothing under the carpet. Nothing should be pushed under the carpet. Citizens should know how we are managing what is rightfully theirs. But my presentiment at the same time, where I welcome citizens' concern, is the pessimism the oil and gas sector has attracted. I have heard voices saying, keep the oil in the ground. Why? Because of climate change. Now I want to ask one pertinent question. Are we suffering effects of climate change as yet or no? If the answer is yes, who has caused it? Is it Uganda's gas and oil? Not at all. I would want to know, why are you saying Uganda keep your oil and gas in the ground and you don't tell the principal producers like Saudi Arabia to keep theirs in the ground? Why do people avoid tussling with elephants and then, and then run after rabbits? Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, <laughs> these big fellows, America itself, Russia, nobody's telling them to keep their oil and gas in the ground. Now, you Ugandans, you started once again. Ah, our should let get out. Who told you that you, you are the greatest producers? Your concern should be how do you get it out safely? How do we get it out safely without contaminating our environment? But don't tell me to keep it in the ground. There we shall disagree. How many of you have eaten bananas with the appearings? How many of you do eat a, eat a cow with its skin? Yes, you have, if you have to eat meat, you have to remove the skin and take care of the skin. If you are going to eat bananas, you have to remove the peelings and take care of them. Get the bananas, but don't, you, don't eat the skin and get constipated. That would be my greatest advice to our civil society. My biggest advice to you is government, you, the oil companies, you, the 
is this one who manufactures petroleum? What are they? This one who builds a factory for producing petrol and uh, who refines? How do you do this thing without injuring the rest of the community, the country, the, and the environment? Doctor, how would you perform this surgery, remove the tumor without injuring the rest of the body? But don't say, ah, this person has cancer, is it a cancer, don't touch it, don't touch the cancer. Hey, the cancer will die, but the patient will also die. Because if you don't size the, the tumor and get it, take it out and give chemotherapy and other treatment, yes, the, the tumor will die and the patient will die. Same thing happens with Uganda and your oil sector. I have told people that the biggest problem with Africans is sovereignty. Preserving our sovereignty and aware that sovereignty in poverty is poverty of sovereignty. That for us we want to keep our oil in the ground and remain poor. What else do you have that can substitute the oil wells that we have in the ground? You tell me. And we shall go for it. The biggest problem for Africa is that we, especially our generation of leaders, has failed to turn our abundant mineral wealth into solace and comfort for our people. That's why our people are drowning in the Mediterranean, running from resource-rich Africa, going to resource-exhausted Europe. What's wrong with you? Uh, countrymen. People are telling you <laughs> they don't want to tell Saudi Arabia to keep their oil in the ground and they're telling Uganda to keep it in your ground. Oh, and you succeed. And you clap and put a finger. <laughs> there is something wrong. Concentrate on ensuring that whatever drop of oil we get out of the ground is accounted for. That's what you should concentrate on. Produce the oil, produce it safely, make sure that every barrel of oil you get out of the ground, we know where the money is going. That would be my greatest concern so that this resource we turn into solace and comfort for the people of Uganda and East Africa. That would be my greatest advice to you, countrymen. These things they say, oh, you are going to get these jobs. You're, 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 yes, that's the, this you know. Because there was some time I was in some place, in Europe and I was talking to a minister from an oil producing country and I told him I said oh you, you are experienced in uh, oil and gas production and it would be good to work together so that we can share your experience and he was a friend of mine you know what he told me he said, don't waste your time. I said, why? He said, we can't give you that experience. I said, why? He said, hey, you want us to give you that experience and you compete with us? I said, eh, kumbe. <laughs> kumbe. Eh, you Ugandans, countrymen, let's concentrate on getting value for money. Let's concentrate on ensuring that this resource is well taken out of the country carefully, prudently, and uh, safely. But nobody should lecture to us about keeping our oil in the ground. I thank you. <laughs>